Okay, so on to the next track, Sash Performance in Sonia's Young Soul Saturdays. We started off with Benson Boone, which was awesome. Um, and then we went on to Park Hyoi Shin, which is also awesome. All very mild, but I was told that this one was going to be a mild series uh, today. I was actually told that I wouldn't be able to handle the harder stuff. Not not on a Saturday, at least. And I would love to know what is Sonia's hardest stuff. What is it? Corey Taylor? <laughs> like, I have no idea what the hardest stuff is. But I'm sure in time we will figure it out. This one over here is Lauren Ulred. I'm not entirely sure if I've reacted to that. I can't I, I, that name does not ring a bell, a bell to me for some odd reason. Anyway, it says, I hear your voice. That's the name of the song. Um, Lauren Ulred. Obviously, I mean, if it does ring a bell, I'll let you know. But... That name right now, I'm not so sure. Let's go. What is that? Ah, uh, the Welcome good old. To the Goodwood Museum of Fine Arts and Arts. The good old fucking Walkman, man. Remember those days, the Walkman and the Discman as well. I know that this is, I mean, this technology is anachronistic and it's antiquated right now. But man, those were the days, man. <laughs> those were the days. The struggles of just having to press rewind. <laughs> Waiting to get, and then, you, and then you literally had to stop and it's like, oh no, shit, I'm in the middle of the song. <laughs> Fucking, it is super cool. I loved it. Welcome to the Goodwood Museum of Fine Arts and our special exhibition of I Hear Your Voice. You'll find here a Circa 2000 answering machine. This manual voice messaging system Panasonic is with Jeez. six unreturned messages. Hi, Lauren. This is Nana, honey. Tell you why I called. I had sent you a package just kind of filled with fun things that reminded me so much of you and things I wanted to share with you. I'm so proud of you, darling. Love you with all my heart. Was it her mom or her grandmother? We haven't reacted to her at all. I don't remember her. When I oh. wake up. Okay, so Lauren uh, uh, Alred, Pittsburgh, born 1989, living artist, sandstone, natural flora. So this is obviously um something of her but it almost feels like it's like a live i don't know statue maybe of her but i think she that that's because she's gonna be singing when i wake up in the morning after dreaming of your face and then the sun shines down I've never heard of her. I like the concept, sorry for pausing again, but I love the concept of this in terms of it being in the museum because she, as a musician, all right, is considered, or a singer, she's considered an artist, right? So her being in the museum live singing this, it's almost like now she's the living embodiment of her art, essentially. So it's literally her art speaking to you. And she is her art and her art is her. It's like one, uh, that's just literally how she was born. They, they, it's kind of like an inseparable marriage is this, this uh, artistry, which I think is very, very cool. I like that. And it's almost as if she's ripped, she's presenting herself as art, not the artist as art itself. I think that's very cool. In the morning After dreaming of your face Then the sun shines down Your light straight to me It's like you never went away Oof. Beautiful voice. I just 
Beautiful. So I kind of feel like the song is for her mom. I'm, 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 I'm assuming that that person in the answering machine is her mother. And now that her mother's gone, right, all she's left with is her voice. But I kind of also think that she's saying, you know, I hear her voice, but she's trying to explain that through that kind of technology in terms of like her, her voice will never die, it will never go away. It's almost like she's always sending messages. And, you know, like, um, mothers when specifically in the time when the time of messages right and answering machines like that they'd always check in all the time and that sometimes could annoy you where it's like oh my god how many times are you going to call and whatever else but once she's gone like you're like shit I wish I could hear her voice again but I think the answering machine is basically um, just her trying to depict how she hears her voice all of the time right and not because of the answering machine it's just because that's how much of um, um how much love she has for for her and secondly and that's how much of a connection she had with her her uh, mom in terms of like she's kind of like bridging that gap um between the physical and the eternal through the memory of her voice i think I Walking towards me yesterday yeah. In that moment I stood still I felt a whisper saying It's gonna be okay Ooh, Beautiful video It's gonna be okay Understand that representation of time in terms of how time is fleeting, right? I think that's beautiful, beautiful. Like that would literally be in the hourglass, but this particular artistic piece is literally sand uh, um, falling, which means you can't turn this one over. It's very clever. It's very clever. She's trying to grasp whatever she can from the sand that is falling, right? Because our lives is unlike a hourglass where when the sand finishes, you just turn it around and it continues. Once that sand is, once that sand goes through, it's through. It's game over. Our time's up. Do you know what I mean? Great representation. I love that she's creating all of this as, all of, all of these messages as part of like an art exhibition where she's representing her pain, she's representing her connection, she's representing um, the freedom with the uh, origami birds that were all floating, uh, floating there. So she's representing many different things, right, through her artistry in an art museum as the art, which I think is very cool. Very, very cool. Very unique video. I must be honest. Very, very unique video. Everywhere I go. I must be honest.
Her voice is amazing. Are you, are you baking? I am, but brisket, my brancino. <laughs> That dress she was wearing there, just a little chat on the attire. That all the dresses she was wearing here are absolutely awesome. But this dress here, God, this dress is sick. This is such a nice dress. <laughs> Let's be real. I like this kind of dress. I like that very sort of classic, um, clean look, right? Anyway, absolutely awesome. I really like this song. Never heard her before. That's the first time I've heard her. So thank you for bringing this one to the channel. Um, I'm happy to see more of it. You guys let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.